Hello, this is Shift Eye Gallery, and we're here with Tabitha Oduku, renowned artist, and we're here to talk about her paintings, her exquisite paintings. So, Tabitha, tell us about your art. Okay, as you heard, my name is Tabitha Oduku. I have been art for about 30 years. I was born an artist. That's what I, I always say, because I started creativity when I was very young. My art is about the society and what they own, the people themselves and their properties, like their gardens, their animals, their music, and their boredom sometimes. <laughs> and what would you say influences your art? How do you paint? What is your process of art? Okay, I am a, a seasonal artist and uh, I'm influenced by the society. And when it comes to me, it transforms itself into seasons that inspires me. I am a very seasonal artist. I paint some browns, that is the season of the browns. I paint very bright colors, the season of the bright colors. And when I say brown does not mean it's dark season, no. The brown is the golden season. The seasons that it looks like us, the chocolate. And I have always told people I'm celebrating us, the Africans, because all the mines, the wealth that we have from our ground is related to us, and so the browns celebrate that wealth that we are yet to discover. The bright seasons, and when I say bright, I'm not talking about the sunlight. I'm talking about color, more color, more color, more color in the earth. It is just to spice the browns, you know. Africans are very colorful people. They love color. We have a lot of flowers. You know, we, when, uh, when it's uh, after the rainy season, and then the flowers are there. We have a lot of fruits, the orange fruits, the mangoes, the guavas. They are all very sharp, bright. So that is what I mean with the, the bright seasons. And um, they are actually the properties of the, the brown season. Yeah. Everything here is actually the property of the brown season. Yeah. Uh, interesting. And do you think the Kenyan society appreciates art? If you're my brother, I love you. Kenyans appreciate art. And that is why, if you look at the Kenyans, we don't go with fashion. You know the way you hear that uh, today, now this year people are wearing red, no. Kenyans appreciate art and they keep different colors with them, you know. And if you go to a uh, Kenyan home, you'll see they have art. Not necessarily a painting by Tabitha Waduku, but they want art. They want to do things to make themselves happy. So there's a lot of creativity within our homes. Bought or not bought, Kenyans appreciate art. They may not have the money. They may not have an understanding of an exhibition, but they, they do actually appreciate art. And that is why myself, even if I was to come again in the world, I would love to be a Kenyan in the same situation, yes. You hear that everyone? She would love to be a Kenyan. And I have noticed that women feature a lot in your art. Uh, it's not only my art. Actually, <laughs> other artists may ask me this question. Of an 80% of the art in the world features women. Because the woman has the egg. Isn't inside me? I have the egg of a man and a woman. So, women are everybody. Yeah. So, when I feature a painting of a man, a woman, it's basically talking about people. You know, and I'm not against men. I would like men to see the art, to see the beauty of the women, and stop beating them. So that's why I think I should also give more space on women in art and have more men coming to see the art. Yeah.
spoken like a true feminist. And how would you relate your art to family life? To family life? Can you repeat that question? How you would relate your art to family life? Whose family? Your family. My family? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I am a family person. I have one daughter. I have brothers and I have sisters. I have cousins, I have uncles, I have my parents are still alive and I have my grandparents and I have my neighbors. I relate my art with the family because without the support of people. Now, you know, when we call all that the extended family, and you know, by the way, my family is very extended because we are married in different in different family um, tribes so my family is very big in fact we even have a barana in our family we even have a trukana in our family we have a ru in our family we have a ruya in our family we have masai in my family we have kabas in our family in fact sometimes back we went to kupereka mariko wa kaba you know you are going to eat kawaida wa kikuyu anataka kupikiwa tulienda kupika so my family is very big and i feel that they feature in my art in the kara and in the brown because we are well the people interesting i love that uh, exposition of your family and art and how it relates to your art and if i ask do you have a centerpiece of this art of this gallery do you have a favorite piece that you would say is your favorite uh, <laughs> these are paintings from my seasons from different seasons they are fast bones or rusty bones or middle bones of my seasons and I love them. I would be unfair to a painting because my paintings have life in them. If I say I love that one better than that one, I will miss the spirit of my paintings. So I love every painting in this exhibition. I can only pinpoint a painting if you ask me something about that painting because I am the creator of all these paintings. Spoken like a true philosopher of art, and I would figure that your, the painting of your daughter would be the most favorite piece in, in your gallery. Um, the painting of my daughter being my favorite. No, my daughter is my favorite person in the gallery. But all these other paintings has a lot of relationship with my daughter because she's always the first person to see my art. Even when she was in school, when she comes home, the first thing she wants to do is to see the art that I have done when she's away. So, since all the paintings have a lot of relationship with my daughter, I create them for her. They are all my favorite. Interesting, and finally, you have traveled the world to exhibit your, your, your paintings. Do you have a favorite place or do you, would you say that the place that I went to is, when I, is the place that I had the best season? Uh, okay, I have traveled in different parts of the world not to market myself. I am marketed by Kenyans. Here back at home, my best collectors are at home. In fact, it's a family that has more art than anybody in the world. But when I go outside to show my art, I go to share what I have. And I don't go favoring anybody. No, I favor my country first. So, but I have traveled, I've gone to places like Italy, I had an exhibition, a very successful one. I've gone to Athens, the Greece. I had uh, an exhibition there, an international exhibition during the Olympic Games. I have uh, gone to Netherlands, I had exhibition. Late now there is an exhibition that's almost starting in Denmark of my art. But you know, giving me a chance in a country does not mean that I'm favoring that country or they're favoring me. They're showing art, that's their job. I'm creating, that's my job. So we meet at one table and we say, Tabitha, have you done enough work? Do you have work? And I say, yes, I have. So we have a space to show your work. But I will not need for anybody. No, I will only need for Kenyans and tell them, let's support artists. Yes. Spoken like a true philosopher of art and a very, very clever patriot. 
thank you for giving us an opportunity to come and look at your art. And uh, I would tell Kenyans to come and uh, view her art and let her explain you, to you what her art is all about. Thank you.